Welcome to Round the World Women. My name is Pachani Malikau, your host of this program. My guest today is from Japan. She is one of our members uh, of Round the World Women. I would like to introduce you to Shizuko Mulin. Hi, Shizuko. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Fine, thanks. Shizuko, you came here 17 years ago to yeah. the U.S. Mm -hmm. What uh, what uh, what did you do? Did you come to study? I studied accounting at the University of North Texas. I got a bachelor's degree there. Mm -hmm. And wh why did you choose uh, the uh, U.S. to be your tertiary education the destination? Um, I wanted to come here, the U.S., when I was um, junior high school, mm -hmm. when the English, um, English is the uh, um, the More demanded, uh, the, yeah, the, command, the command yeah, of English, uh -huh. mandatory subject, uh -huh. and um, also um, at that time the economy in Japan got uh, better, so the exchange rate from yen to dollars got better. So my father suggested me uh, to try to study abroad here rather than uh, stay in Japan. So in Japan, you mean that's more expensive to study than um, coming to the U.S. at that time? At that time, almost the same. Almost the same. If we go same. to the state university also, if we go to I the see. even private school, almost the same in Japan. Oh, I see. Yes. So you decided to come, okay. And you uh, decided to stay on. Wh mm -hmm. uh, why, why, why then? I stayed Why in the that? U.S. Yeah. Um, I met a boyfriend, an American boyfriend, mm. and, and it's my husband right now. I see. <laughs> and then I got married with him right before the graduation. So I was supposed to go back to Japan after graduation, but uh, I stayed here and then I worked there for five years. Okay, you worked as an accountant in accountant, Texas. Yes. Uh -huh. I see. And, and you, you now have a son? Yes, of, he is uh, a four years old. Uh -huh. And where does he go to school? Yes, he goes to the uh, UMass preschool. Uh -huh. So, um, but ha have you been back to, uh, to uh, Japan? Yes, um, when I was um, a student, I went back to Japan maybe every other year. Mm -hmm. And then when I worked, it got less. But uh, once I delivered him, I go back to Japan every year because I want to show my son to my parents and uh, they are happy to see them. Oh, that's nice. But uh, I heard that your, your father is ill now. Uh, I yes. Had, yeah. um, he got a stroke uh -huh. about 10 years ago oh. and uh, now he lost the uh, speech. But uh, fortunately, he could move. So my mother took care of him, but uh, unfortunately she passed away last year. I'm sorry to hear mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But uh, my brother mm -hmm. lived with him, and also my sister take care of him. So, so you have you now you 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 are compelled to visit your dad mm -hmm. every every year. Every year, oh, yes. I, I still I think I keep visiting him mm -hmm. every year. And now uh, you moved to Amherst from Texas. Yes, um, 2008 summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we came here from Texas um, for my husband PhD work in linguistics in UMass with mm -hmm. a scholarship and a stipend. Yes. So you, you have become a homemaker now? Yes. Um, I also delivered my son mm -hmm. at that time, 2008 summer. Mm -hmm. So I quit the job in mm -hmm. Texas and then three weeks after I delivered him, we came over here. And then uh, now I'm being a mother of him. You you are happy about being a homemaker instead of uh, working? Uh, yes, right now mm -hmm. I'm happy. Before, um, working is important for me mm -hmm. uh, to support our life by ourselves, not depending on our parents. Right. So for the like, uh, for seven, for five, in total five years I have worked in Texas. But 
after seven years marriage, I got delivered. Uh, I got pregnant and delivered him. So um, it's time for us to um, take care of our family rather than uh, um, just working. Because now my husband has a stipend every month, a little bit of stipend, but uh, mm -hmm. we got our money and uh, we have uh, also some savings. Mm -hmm. And uh, also I worked as a translator for about two years when my son was about eight months until right before the three years old. But at that time I was so tired after, you know, after he slept, I needed to work. Mm -hmm. So every day I was so tired and then I sometimes so irritated. And then my mother in Japan suggests I quit the job because my son was still young and he needs me. And it's also important to take care of our health. And also if I'm healthy and I'm happy, I can take care of my son nicely. So now you put your family forward uh, ahead of your working, working uh, preference. Yes. And that I'm very happy. Uh -huh, I see, uh, you yes. are very happy too. Yes, I'm uh -huh. relaxed right now. I Before see. I was walking, walking. So you changed, yeah, you changed, changed your perspective life. about life? about working, working, working to now to more family, family oriented. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so people in Japan, mm -hmm. are they hard workers? I think, uh, yeah, basically people are hard workers and then we do work as a team. You, you work at a, as a mm -hmm. team, you do overtime a lot, right? Uh, yes, heard? we do overtime a lot, I think. So um, I think they still feel like some pressure. Mm. If some people, are doing overwork, and I cannot go home like on time. If other people do overwork, I have to do something like this. So it's like a pressure. So you mean that the Japanese culture is more collective? So you, you put the values of the team, of the group? Yes. Ahead of the individual's the individual, uh, yes. needs. I see. So every, when, when you wanted to stop, but the team yes. is still wa wanting to, uh, yes. to continue, so uh -huh. you can't stop. Yes. So isn't that stressful? Um, yes, I think um, stressful. So... <laughs> and how come the uh, Japanese, they, uh, they have the very long life expectancy? Mm -hmm. Why is that? You have a lot of stress, you work long, you don't have time for exercise, but you live longer. How, how, how is well, that possible? Is it your maybe, food? Maybe we have a well-balanced uh, <laughs> food. Uh -huh. But you know, we have a lot of pressure from work. Uh -huh. So commit suicide rate is high, like uh, in their 30s, 40s, 50s. Mm -hmm. So it's bad. But, you know, we might, I guess we have a better health insurance supported by government. Yeah, and I, also, I heard that. Yeah. yeah, good food, like a healthy food. Healthy food mm -hmm. and good health care. Yes, from the indeed. government, uh, guaranteed by the government. Yes. I see. That's interesting. But h talking about the suicidal rate uh, mm -hmm. in Japan, is that high among uh, students? Oh, well, actually I looked it up mm -hmm. and then I, I found uh, the suicide rate of the uh, younger age. Mm -hmm. Actually, United States is higher than the than, uh, than Japan, Japan. Uh -huh. but in 30s, 40s, 50s, it's high. So the basically, the overall popularity, um, Japan's suicide rate is uh, high, much higher than the U.S. Okay. But the younger generation, it's less. Uh -huh. But basically, mainly the younger generations uh, commit suicides because of the, I guess, bullies, like like here. Oh, I think. Okay. Not not the. Uh, not because of the of competitiveness. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Yeah, I was about to ask you about the uh, uh, education uh, system in Japan, especially now in uh, primary and uh, preschool. Uh -huh. uh, how did kids, uh, Japanese kids, uh, get uh, trained? Um, I think in primary school, I think it's almost the same as here. But in um, elementary school, uh, I think we learned uh, teamwork mm -hmm. more like so like in a uh, meal time 
uh, we were pro when I was a young, uh, we were provided by uh, provided meal by, mm -hmm. um, but the the whole meal was a whole meal cart was brought to the uh, classroom, and then the kids have to serve to other kids. So, mm -hmm. for example, in the classroom, there is uh, like mm -hmm. thirty five people, and always we work as a group, like six people's group. So, for example, this week, group one's going to be a server. Mm -hmm. And maybe next week, um, group. or two weeks later, group two is the I server. See. So, um, in, in front of the, uh, the, uh, <coughs> the six people uh, goes to the uh, in front of the class, and I then see. the other kids uh, come in line, and then we serve it. So and then, uh, you know, um, before eating, we say greeting like uh, thank you for the meal and we would eat. Also at the end, we say thank you for the meal, we will finish. And then they, um, <coughs> people together clean up. Not mm. the individual, we started to eat, we finish and go somewhere. So we do so think, you do, do, think, together. do things as a group. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and, and also another, <coughs> uh -huh. yes, so we do chore in the class. And mm -hmm. also another good example is um, <coughs> like uh, after the meal time mm -hmm. and the before the afternoon class, we do we did um, cleaning time. It's not like a clean up time like a preschool. It's real cleaning time. So you don't need to hire <coughs> a janitor to do um, that. The kids yeah, all I do think, the cleaning I the room. Think so uh -huh. so the whole uh, school student from first grade through sixth grade mm -hmm. uh, for the th 30 minutes mm -hmm. um, we do the cleaning like uh, again uh, we do the teamwork like uh, okay. group once this week uh, you guys gonna do the sweep the I floor see. and the group two and three uh, clean the hallway and the group group three is gonna clean the windows wow. and another group is gonna uh -huh. clean the <coughs> The mopping on the mm -hmm. floor on the, in the bathroom or something like that. Okay, that's so part we of do, your curriculum. Yes, we do learn mm -hmm. the responsibility. So, wow. So, Japanese uh, people are pressed uh, highly for their discipline uh, because uh, we saw the f uh, pictures of uh, uh, Japanese uh, during the tsunami uh -huh. and uh, the nuclear disaster two years mm -hmm. ago that people were queuing uh, for the food rations mm -hmm. without any. Uh, Quarreling. So, uh -huh. what 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 were what are the values you were impl implanted uh, since you were young, apart from discipline and yes, and teamwork? Yes, what what we, else you have? And also, we are patient. I think. Ah, we're patient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then also, um, we don't want to fight each other, and we try to avoid unnecessary unnecessary conflict. So, and again, also. Um, we considered other people's feeling if I do or say something. Mm -hmm. So we think about that before we express our feeling. So because we already learn this kind of things, so like uh, at the in the hardship like that, we kind of did good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Even even though you feel a bit frustrated, you keep it inside. Yeah, inside, inside yes. Is I think healthy? inside, <laughs> <laughs> is people healthy, maybe? got angry, maybe uh, got angry uh -huh. and they complained many I things. See. But we try not to express and we try yeah. to be cool. <laughs> I guess that's the m main uh, Asian uh, characteristics that maybe. you keep social smooth, uh, smoothness yes, uh, so. function and uh, we don't express uh, uh, feelings that much. Mm -hmm. But uh, but when when a Japanese gets uh, angry, what 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 would he do, uh, or her she or he do? I don't know. But uh, <laughs> we I in front of people we try not to. You don't do say. It you don't because it's uh -huh. we also learn like sense of shame. Uh -huh. So if we do something bad in front of people, other people think that person is that kind of person. I for see. The wrong. So, so you really, really, you really belong to, to the group. I yeah, think yeah. So. Uh -huh. Okay. 
And uh, well, we'll come back to the education system a little bit. We were talking about the primary and the preschool uh, system. And how about the secondary school system? Is it competitive yes. <laughs> to get uh, to a university? Yes, um, in high school, yes, the uh, ratio for academic is much higher mm -hmm. than the, the you know, teamwork, something like that. So um, many students after school, uh, they go to the cram school, which is the place we... Um, to a tutoring school, you mean? Tutoring school, uh -huh. something like that. I we, see. We learn the skill to go and uh, to pass the to pass entrance, the test. Uh, entrance uh -huh. examination and also maybe study much deeper than the uh, the classroom in the I in see. The, in the so morning. and and how about the teaching uh, the the the, the way uh, the way of teaching is it one way communication or two way basically or one way student centered or teacher centered teacher centered oh. and then we listen I see it's not like the U.S. I, I think. see. We don't really have a discussion group that much either. So basically, teachers say something, the people and can try you to remember, mm. and then. Oh, and if you disagree with uh, with the teacher, what would you do then? Probably nothing happened. Oh, not really. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Maybe oh. people don't say anything that much in the class, even though teacher ask. Uh, who can solve this equation or something? They don't say, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> they try not to <laughs> be um, express themselves. They try not to OK, so mod modesty is the norm yes. uh, in the classroom yes. as well. So you don't show that you, you know a lot, you know yes. too much. Uh -huh. Otherwise, you're going to be like a kind of a showy, yes. a show-off yes, person. True. I see. So we you have always to think uh -huh. we are one of them, not I the see. individuals. I see. But the entrance examination uh, is very, very, very tough. Yes. Uh -huh. So to go to high school for both private and uh, public school, we have to pass the uh, uh, examination, entrance examination. And also those high school and the university also, it's ranked by the prestige, prestigeness. Uh -huh. so prestige. You, yes, uh -huh. prestige. So if you um, fail the school you wanted to go, you have to go one rank down. I see. Yes. I see. Wow, so that's tough. So with some people, I guess it's pressure for some student. Uh -huh. and, and not many people commit uh, commit suicide because of that, right? Yes. Um, I don't think because of that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. So I heard some other Asian country is more um, extreme. Um, I watched the TV show of mm -hmm. the um, documentary of some other countries. I, when I was young, I thought Japan is kind of crazy because we have to study hard to mm -hmm. go to the university or high schools too. But when I saw the documentary of other countries, it was more <laughs> extreme. So which which country is that? It was a uh, Korean. Oh, Korean. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I also heard the Chinese is also. Uh -huh. Very, um, they see. have to study a lot. So we are very comp competitive, but not too much. Like I uh, have want to commit a suicide. I, I don't think a bit so. tougher than the U.S. Tougher than U.S., uh -huh. but they're not like other. I see. Yes, that's why they are the commit the suicide rate mm -hmm. is not that too high, high the, like uh -huh. like uh -huh. teenagers. And and when did you learn a uh, foreign la language uh, um, in Japan? I started to learn uh, in seventh grade. But in English. English. Uh -huh. English. Yes. Uh -huh. In seventh grade. So how how did you learn English? I mean, speaking class, or writing um, or basically uh, reading and uh, write, writing. Be reading and, and we writing. We don't do uh, like a conversation. No yes. conversation. So we are very poor at the listening and the speaking. So when mm -hmm. we graduate uh, high school and the uh, university, most of people, most of Japanese are not fluent of English at all. Mm. But uh, I think starting this year, the government uh, make the English is a mandatory subject for the elementary school, first year elementary, first, uh, first grade. 
uh -huh. elementary school. Is it as part of uh, the Asian United? Uh, you know, you know about the uh, the Asian uh, countries that are gonna unite together, like a I'm euro zone, sure. something like that. And now English is like uh, uh, compulsory among those uh, those nations. Could be, uh, but I'm not oh, sure. Yeah, okay. But but, but you know, um, I think we lack of uh, teachers. Like a normal um, elementary school teacher, of course, cannot speak English, so we have to hire, you know, native speakers. But I don't know. <laughs> okay, then it opens more opportunities for, for American for American there. people yeah. to go there to teach yes, English I there. Think so uh -huh. otherwise, Japanese teachers cannot teach <laughs> English uh -huh. because they, like my age, they cannot even the graduating from university. They uh -huh. cannot speak English. Yeah. I see. Okay, uh, 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 my, my last question. Uh, Japan has uh, gone through the rise and the fall, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we call economic booms and bust, and, and have progressed a lot in terms of ma ma material uh, and, uh, and uh, economic uh, growth. Uh, what is it uh, to be a Japanese? Uh, now in the modern time? What is to be Japanese? Um. Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Are you proud of your nation? Or oh, uh, uh, you feel regret that oh, we should have over done the, it like, better? Over the 50 years? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think we developed a lot compared to 50, 60 years ago and now. Sure you did? Yes, but the, uh, I'm not fully satisfied because uh, we still have some problem, like um, um, we have a much pressure at workplace. Like uh, we still have a commit suicide rate is high, and also you know, even though the very few percentage, we still have a very, uh, very rich rich people and very poor people, mm. even though it's very few percentage. So the people as government to lessen the difference. To bridge the gap between yes, the rich and the, the poor, the, uh, uh -huh. and also the housing in Japan, like uh, in the city Tokyo, mm. it's expensive, and the house space is narrow compared to the Cranky, US. Cranky, uh -huh. Yes, mm. so um, for individual happiness, I'm not sure. If they really happy with it, even though the life itself is uh, better compared to the 50 years ago, we have a, a lot of food, but yes, we still have a lot of work to do. I see you. So you imply that money can't buy happiness. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, of, of even though despite the economy, uh, economic growth, uh, yes. you still have a bit of unhappiness. Yes, unhappiness. Uh -huh. Because of many, many social many, problems. Yes, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think so. Okay. So you have anything else to talk, to say as uh, being a Japanese living here in the U.S.? Uh, for the, uh, like uh, two years ago, we had a tsunami over there. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, some people started to do business again, like uh, before, but some people are still sad because they lost their families. And I read the article of some volunteer people over there. Um, it says uh, Japanese uh, appreciate um, the, all the help and the support from all over the world so far, but we still um, appreciate people's help. So in any kind of form is fine, like uh, um, support of just praying for the people who are sad and it could be the support for volunteer work over there, like uh, clean up the stuff or Which is construction. Still going on, right? mm -hmm. uh -huh. That is also appreciated. And also for foreigners to visit Japan. And uh, it's also appreciated because you know, the, um, the business and the sightseeing industry can be developed. I and see. not only the part of the um, <coughs> tsunami area, but also the uh, whole Japan. If uh, people visit the whole Japan, like 
economy of all Japan um, would be better. Would be better, I and see. then the government can um, use the money to help wisely the, the to people the in the people that devastating areas. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you so much you. for your time. We learned a lot about Japan and the Japanese culture, and please help support Japan. Uh, thank you for your interest.